Hello super users! The other day someone commented on one of my videos on how to notate Sol G in Finale. So I'm going to walk you through my step-by-step -step process on how to do it and it's actually quite simple so let's get started. So first I'm actually going to insert some sort of music that I actually want to be played only on the G string. That's good enough for now. Next I'm going to go to my Smart Shapes tool and we're going to come down here to Custom Smart Shapes option, click and you'll see that we have a whole bunch of custom smart lines that we can use. And from here, I'm just going to go down to one of these that looks like it's text with a dotted line. Doesn't matter which one. Let's do this one. We're going to duplicate it. And we're going to edit the duplicate. Left start, we want to say Sol G, like that. Left continuation, Sol G, like that. Hit OK, hit OK, select and then just drag and write Sol G just like that. Or if you want it on top, you have it like that too. Now if you put Sol G on top, you'll notice that we have this little bracket going upward, so there's an easy fix to do that. Going back to our custom line tool, and we're going to hit Option, click that again. So we're going to hit Edit, and we're going to come over here to Right End Position. Instead of negative 1, type in negative 4, hit OK, OK, and select and then if you re-notate it, you'll notice that it's that little thing is pointing straight down. So that's it. That's how I notate Sol G in Finale. If you found this at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all the latest Finale tips and tricks.